Hi, this is, uh, my name is Tony Gratson and I'm the government sales manager with Ford Motor Company and we're here at the Michigan State Police vehicle testing with Police Magazine. And we're bringing out the Ford uh, police interceptors for customers to see. And behind me we have the police interceptor sedan. And the police interceptor sedan was revealed in March and our utility was revealed in September. And uh, they're being tested today um, at the test uh, to show their performance. Um, the engines that we'll be testing will be the 3.5 liter TIVCT uh, twin independent variable cam uh, base V6 engine which is flex fuel capable that gets over 280 horsepower and that's over 30 horsepower more than the Crown Victoria's V8 with V6 fuel economy. And then our performance engine is our 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo direct injection engine and it gets over 365 horsepower and that will be coupled with our all-wheel drive system. The base engine will have either all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. And then on our utility vehicle will be that base engine in both either a four-wheel drive or front-wheel drive configuration. So it's an extremely exciting day for us. Uh, we'll be running these tests, both the acceleration, performance, and braking today at the uh, Michigan State Police Test. Our new police interceptors um, have have been built uh, as interceptors, purpose-built, from the ground up and from the inside out. And from the ground up, we mean that we have 18-inch uh, 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 steel wheels with police-rated tires and uh, heavy-duty braking and suspension system. And under the hood, we'll have our heavy-duty cooling system with a heavy-duty alternator, which is rated at 225 amps. Okay, this is the interior of our, of our police interceptor sedan and as you can notice we've taken out the center console and in this case there's aftermarket equipment been installed but that space between those two new police seats is nine inches just like the Crown Victoria so you can move equipment from the Crown Vic into your new Ford uh, police interceptors. Um, the seats are purpose-built and sculpted for uh, police officers and everybody that's got in the vehicles today have said how comfortable that they are. Um, up on the uh, steering column you can see the column shift and we've also taken advantage of the buttons on the steering wheel to program them for both the sirens and lights. Um, also our Ford uh, Sync technology, we are able to use that to use voice activated commands for both sirens and lights as well. Um, if you look up higher up on the instrument panel, we also added a mounting plate. Uh, in this case, you could see radar that uh, ha has been mounted in that uh, space. Again, lower than the, and not obstructing the view of the officer. So the, the bottom line is that we've uh, taken the interior and built a compartment area for the officer that uh, where he could get to and access his equipment in the most comfortable environment uh, possible and maximizing all the space. Okay, this is the rear containment area of the police interceptor sedan and as you can see there's vinyl seats and we've moved the seats back four inches to have greater leg room. Um, these are not the final vinyl seats but there'll be vinyl seats in the in the rear area. This partition is a studio partition. We're already working with aftermarket uh, suppliers to be uh, to have partitions ready for when our new interceptors are, are made available. And if you look at the door, the door itself has a plastic molded uh, interior door uh, panel, as well as we have the door that opens an additional 11 degrees for ease of entry into the containment area um, uh, for use as a police interceptor. Okay, this is the trunk of the police interceptor sedan. And as you can see, there's a lot of space. It's uh, 20 cubic feet compared to 20.6 cubic feet in the Crown Victoria. In this case, we have a communications tray for all the uh, aftermarket equipment uh, that's been installed into the front of the vehicle. Uh, that a package tray will be available in one of our police prep packages. Uh, it does come with a full-size spare, and underneath this floor cover is the spare uh, mounted in the wheel well. Um, this is uh, an early version of uh, how to install, this, how the spare will be installed uh, with a package tray to be able to store some equipment. 
um, in the back of the vehicle. Again, it's this, uh, this show piece, uh, show vehicle is under development for our final production, but this gives you a good example of how much space is available in the trunk of the police interceptor sedan.